All right, and we are back to this. And the reason for why I make these kinds of videos is the fact that black men are unfairly treated and unfairly scrutinized for who we marry if we marry someone other than a black woman. Now, I can't say the same thing for myself who's married to a black woman, but I'm not the type to go around social media ranting and in everyone else's business as to who they marry and who they decide to spend the rest of their lives with and who they decide to have sex with because it's none of my business. So question for people who frequent black Twitter, why is Jay Ellis obligated to keep his comments on any, I mean, turned on on any of his social media posts with his wife? You know, just so you can come in and act weird and harass him for his choices in dating and mating when you never, ever give the same energy to um, black women who decide to marry out. In fact, the majority of black men do not care about who black women date and marry out. But you'll have these hoteps like Dr. Umar who sit up there and constantly dick police black men for our dating and mating choices and just admitting that there is a fundamental problem with the attitudes of black women. And I'm sorry to have to say this, being married to one, it, 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 it is what it is. It's for the most part, when you look at social media, uh, you'll understand why brothers are dating out because it's just, it's just these hate-filled diatribes against black men that they see all the time and in their lives and in their experiences dealing with them on a personal level. Now, why would anyone be so mad at Jay Ellis as to who he decides to date and mate? Because here's the thing. If you are a black man in America, the group of women that have had first access to you are black women they are so how come the they let these types of black men get away you know black men like jay ellis and, and let me tell you why because they don't have this thug image they don't have this pookie like image that you know that is so revered and so loved by a, a large portion of the american black community it is is as if we're supposed to be the stereotype. I mean, hell, it's just just like with people like Nate Parker, Jay Ellis probably heard all of it. He he's whack. He's lame. And you know what he did? He went where he was appreciated. Plus, here's one thing that you know the majority of black people don't understand. Celebrities go by a different set of rules. Also this, maybe Jay Ellis is just tired of dealing with insecure black women. <laughs> so, I, I mean, look, look, you guys are so hypocritical. You know, you, you, you'll go around saying love is love when it's any other combination of people, but it's like when it comes to black men, heterosexual black men, we have to date black women. We have to marry black women or we get the criticism and the vitriol from places that are a cesspool like black Twitter. Like they're the end all be all for black people, what black people are supposed to be doing. But let, let me tell you something about that. Black Twitter is just a place where black people show that they are the most broken. And this time, Jay Ellis just was not having it. You know, he wanted his happy day to be his happy day. And that's it. And, and guess what? There are going to be so many more social media posts that he's going to make with his wife where he's not going to turn off the comments. And guess what? Lonely ass, miserable B-dubs 
and these little simps and these little alphabet boys are going to chime in on those posts and try to take jabs at him and his um, Serbian wife. So, I mean, don't worry, guys. You're going to get your chance. And hell, shit, black Twitter is already at it. I mean, shit, like, like, let me, let me ask you a question. After the whole Kevin Samuels debacle, you know, following his death, why should we? Why should black men uh, accept black women when that happened? Maybe if more of us black people just minded our own goddamn business, things might be better in the diaspora. But until that day, shit, we still got to deal with issues such as this blatant dick police. So just please stop. Let that man be happy. You girls didn't want him anyway. And such as in the case of all these black male celebrities who end up with non-black women. And, and, And let me tell you guys something. The majority of black men who are married are, believe it or not, are married to black women. So if you're not married to a black man and you're constantly on social media being mad at black men who married non-black, it's your lonely ass fault. So stop being so insecure. (laughs) Anyway, congratulations, Jay Ellis. Many happy returns. And I'm out.